right, we're all loaded up. We are currently on an island. Just paddled the kayak right there over here. We're going for a trek down the coast and around the corner, see if we can find a good ledge to fish and see if we can find somewhere good to camp for tonight. Cause it's gonna get windy. So I want a flat spot tucked out of the wind and I want some big fish. Something for dinner anyway. See, what are these? I don't recognize these feathers. That is cool. I reckon that's from a turn of some sort. Some seabird. Hey geese, you go that way, I'm going this way, all right? Cool with that? Couple of quail as well. Geese and quail. I have seen a few quails um, before on mainland, but that's sick. If I don't catch anything, there's some dinner for me. I'd say I'd get in big trouble if I tried that. I think the early explorers probably ate them. How cool is this little cave? I love exploring. It's just when you get to find stuff like this, it's incredible. But um, we're gonna keep walking. We're gonna go fishing around the back here soon. Somewhere around the back, that's the plan. Now we're starting to get into the zone that I'm interested in. Can't see a good ledge here. Some good ledges back there. We'll keep going a bit further. If not, I'm happy to go back and fish around the very, very back another time. A bit of a swell cranking, eh? Far out. Six spot. There's a big swell. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go fish that cut off ledge there. But not today, not or not now anyway. Let's go fishing. Back around here somewhere. It's a little bit more out of the swell. All right, we found our zone. This is where we're gonna fish. We've got a nice flat little area back there. I'll just check my PFD on in a sec. Have a little cast here. That's a fish. Yes, we got something. Hopefully not a wrasse, but let's see. What is it? It's a wrasse. I'm gonna keep this guy's bait. Western King wrasse. They're actually a really pretty looking fish. There we go. First fish is what I call a Western King wrasse, I believe. The colors on it are incredible, actually. Hey fish, that feels all right. Come on. What do we got? Oh, I think it's a ras. Sir Rassy, unwanted. Oop. He can go in there and he'll go straight out very soon. Tide's coming in as well. All right, another ras. We might have to start hunting the big blue wrasse soon, which we call Groper. Oh, that's a fish. That feels a bit better. Come on. Come on. Be a harlequin or something. Feels maybe like a harlequin. Bit of a dead weight. Come on. Please. What is it? I think it is a Harley. Come on. Yes. Land it, land it, land it. Not a big Harley, but we have a Harlequin. Sick. All right, we caught a fish finally. Dinner is sorted. Harlequin fish, one of my favorite eating fish. So I'm stoked on that. And I'm gonna camp there somewhere probably. There is a lot of that geese turd everywhere. They seem to do turds everywhere. Um, fest pit just there. I've got the fish in the water. Swimming around. No, not really. I've got the fish down here. Where is it? 
Right there. Well, there's a crab already having a look. So they're both just bundled up in that. Push them in under there in the shade. Perfect. Crabs will probably pick at it, but they won't take it. And I'm going to have another cast or two. And then I'll probably go get my cooler bag soon. Fish. Big rassy. Oh, release the rest. I'm just going to head back to where I landed in the kayak. Take the Harlequin with me, chuck it in the cooler bag. Probably grab a few other things, including the cooler bag, and bring it back. But I might chill out there for a while and have a little flick. So we'll take the Harlequin and get it um, on ice as soon as possible. I think that'll be best for it. One way to catch crabs. Didn't really anticipate that, but anyway, I'm going to get my Harlequin out. There's a good chance for me to get some bait, so I'm not going to pass it up. And I'll keep them alive. Oh, okay. I'll just chuck them in here. Bunch of nice fresh crabs ready to go. I'll just tie them on there. Back in there. Uh, done. Where I land in the kayak, I reckon this looks like Squid and King George Whiting Country. And when I was looking at the place on maps, I did notice that it looked like it might hold some. So I brought out a few squid jigs. Just two, I think. I wouldn't normally use this rod and line and all that for catching squid. But, we'll give it a go. I'd normally go much lighter. All right, I'm gonna head back to where my fishing stuff is. I've got the uh, cooler bag here. It's full of ice and a couple of frozen herring and stuff. Full of frozen water bottles, rather. Um, so I can drink them when they defrost. I'll show you guys this, check out all the shells everywhere that shell right there is like the lid for the bigger shells and the reason why there's so many smashed around here is one of the birds a pacific go i'm pretty sure will get the shell fly up high drop it smash it open and eat once it uh once it's cracked it open it will eat it so all right i just got the camera in the backpack and a bottle of water first aid kit going for a walk we're going to do a lap of the island just go have a look or maybe not a full lap like i've already said but i want to go look at the ledge just explore the back a bit the swell is cranking right now i just I just managed to get enough reception to get a weather report and it is peaking this evening at 1.9 meters tomorrow morning 1.5 and i think it just slowly drops all day pretty wild out here at the moment but um oh there goes some cape Brown geese I'm trying to get footage of some of the wildlife while i have this but i'm stumbling around too noisily This is where I want to fish tomorrow, and it is wild. Woo. Yeah, this could be six spot to fish. I'm fish down there, close to the water's edge. I just don't want waves coming in behind me. I'll be tied in.
but it's just too rough still. Look this one. Oh no, that was nothing. The one before was huge. more like it. It actually scares me because I don't have a rope or anything but just that light coming through. I mean one could come up behind here and smash you and knock you right in. There's a little bit of water here. I think I might have seen a wave earlier today come through. Similar to here, maybe up this high. But the swell is dropping, so we'll give it a shot tomorrow. I'm done checking out the ledge, done with my hike. I'm gonna leg it back to camp, which isn't set up yet, and then set up camp, fill up the fish, cook some dinner. We'll see you guys back there. Tent's all done. Just gonna throw my um, sleeping bag, mattress, and I've even got a pillow in here. Mattress, I'll blow that up in there. Pillow, I'll blow that up in there. Bag, it all goes in. Done. Let's fill up some fish. Got a whole bunch of um, harlequin fillets anchored up here. Pretty damn good if you ask me. Right, that's my dinner right there. I would have put salad in, but that's what the salad looks like now. And I was like, ugh. Salad just doesn't last, eh? It's frustrating. I did buy it a couple of days before the trip, but I kept it cool. And it must have just got a little bit warm, this arvo or something. Maybe the ice ran out in the arvo because I had it separate. Um, in a separate bag so that because if it gets too cold like pressed up against proper frozen lots of ice it just turns to crap i had it sort of trying to keep it at fridge temp didn't work anyway fish wrap and a bit of tomato and some uh Paranese. pretty damn good if you ask me The plan tomorrow morning is we're going to hike around the back and try fish the uh, the back ledge. If I can't fish it for whatever reason, I'll probably burly up that first ledge that I tried this morning.
how good was that sunset last night? That was just like, the whole sky just lit up. It was amazing. And then afterwards I got out to go check the camera or we'll get the camera back and I saw two rats scurrying off, squeaking, and I was like, oh crap, my food. So I, um, I rigged something up, I'll show you. I don't know if it worked. I hope it did work, but um, let's go have a look. This is what we did. We got a pole and we've thrown my food up the top of it because there's like, there's no trees around. None close anyway. Wedge that so it doesn't like lean and make it too easy for him or bend and break or anything. I did do it with two poles originally. This is my um, busted fishing net and pole gaff pole. So yeah, I did it with two poles at first, but it was bending a bit. It looked a bit dodgy, so. Doesn't look like anything's been in here. I think we're good. Anyway, I'm going to get ready and um, I think we'll go, we'll try around the back. I'll at least have another look at it. And if it's no good, I'm going to burly up back where I fished first thing yesterday and caught a wrasse, I think, so. If you are wondering, by the way, why it looks like I'm so close to mainland, it's because I'm only like slightly, or oh, I guess direct line to the nearest point is a bit less than a K and it's just because it's windy and I'm on a kayak I would have loved to have got a lot further offshore but it would have just been way too dangerous so way too risky that I'd get stuck so I chose this option all right we're at the spot it is still a bit wild a bit rough but it's some good deep looking water so I'm going to get a rope in first of all and then we're going to start casting and see what we can catch and uh, see how the conditions go as well. Safety first. Don't want to die now. I would not like to be swimming in this ocean. Even the lull between the sets would be gnarly to get out. You'd have to just swim around, I reckon. Got to get my cliff gaff ready, otherwise I'll hook something big and it won't be ready. Although I'm going to cast the light outfit first, so if I hook something big there's a fair chance I won't land it. But it is all rigged up ready to go and I just want to see big fat break sea cod, big fat harlequin, something like that would be nice. Alright, first cast. Here comes another set, it's a big set. Really big set. Right, let's watch this one while I'm winding my line in. I don't like this. It's huge. See that? That all washed up in here behind me. Heck man, I felt like that was coming straight at me. I'm so glad I have a rope. Still. Nah. I might do a bait rig and have like one or two casts. Even then, I think this is just too much. It's not safe here. All right, we're ready. Fresh FG. Sunny's on the head and down to a three-way swivel, strong hook, running 200 pound, 200, uh, 150, 150, 150 pretty much all the way around. I didn't have 100 for the sinker, so I just went 150 and I tied a knot 
in it to weaken it a bit. Let's go lob it out. We've got three baits. See if we catch anything. If we don't, then we'll go. Feel like I'm pulling in a bit of seaweed. Because I am. Alright. I'll go my last bit of bait and then we're going to pack up and go. So this here. I do have more bait, but I don't want to go putting any more bait on after this. So let's see if we can get something on this guy. Never know. You just never know. Big lump of weed coming in, or a big fish? Big lump of weed. Oh, I have a fish on, I have a fish on. I cannot believe it, oh, it's a fish. We have a fish. Oh. Very last cast, I said it, and we caught something. Just a break sea cod, not very big, but it's size. So I have something to eat for dinner tonight, but I definitely want to catch something more. Do I have another cast here or not? I think I'm going to head back regardless because it took that long to catch a fish. And we're going to burly up the other spot and see if we can get something decent there. We'll put him to the side. I've got a burly bag set already. It's just got fish frames and some like herring frames and some crabs. I'm gonna run the brake sea cod back to the cooler bag, chuck it in there, and then we'll come back and we'll start fishing and hopefully we'll have a few fish around by then. So a quick little update. Burley's been in for a while. I've seen one or two herring. I've had a few casts. I haven't even caught a herring yet. It's just really quiet for some reason. So I'm kind of feeling lazy and I'm sitting back. I'm gonna have a coffee. Brought out a couple of coffee tea bags, but I got no way of boiling. I could boil in the fry pan, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna let it sit for ages and then drink it cold. Nice cold coffee. Gonna get a sinker out there. So this is my rig. We have that there. It's kind of stuck, but anyway, that doesn't matter if it gets stuck or not. That there, and this is, I want to keep my herring off the bottom a fair way. Whoa, that is a long way. Hopefully I can actually cast it, but generally that's too far to cast. I've seen this trick done by my mate Aaron. Uh, I think he used slightly different gear, but I've just improvised something. So I got grapnel, I got a split ring there because I didn't have a solid ring done. I'll shorten up my cast. When it hits the water that should pop off and away we go. Let's cast it out there. See if we can get it stuck and then we just got to catch a herring. Yeah it's not going anywhere. Gee if that went I'm just about cry myself to sleep. I wonder if I want to back it up. I think we're all right. We'll be right. Um, Heza, let's catch a Heza. <sighs> I've been trying to catch a herring for ages and it's just not happening. So what I do have though, is a big fat slimy dead herring. I've 
tried and I have not succeeded today fishing wise. It's only a bit after lunchtime, but I'm just like, I'm ready for a break. So see you later fish. Go catch me something, eh? That'd be nice. Guess what, me again. You know what? That is really good. Either I was severely craving a coffee or just chucking a tea bag in cold water and letting it sit for half an hour. Does the job. My drag just went. Hang on. Something grabbed it. Let's see. Hopefully not a stingray. What is it? I don't feel anything. My drag just went though. Feel it on rocks. It's rubbing on rocks. Someone's grabbed it and gone under a rock. I don't want to just bust it off. I'm going to go try for a live herring again. Give it a bit of a go and if not, I'm just going to slide out another dead bait. There's my rig ready to go again. To, um, I went two circles this time. Leave it there. Let's go catch something. Down it goes. I'll just sort of do something. There we go. Oh, what's it gonna be? <laughs> We're on. I got no idea. It's going deep again. Oh. It went up and then back down. I saw it just twitching and I was like, I'm going to come down and have a look. Twitched again and I just struck into it. I hope it's not a stingray. It feels a bit stingray-like. I have felt a good head shake, but you never know. Yeah, Ray, flapping on the surface out there. And all that weed over my line. I'd like to get my sinker back. If I can. <clears throat> Come on mate, give me my sinker back. Be nice. Big eagle ray. Hook just popped and away he goes, perfect. So, that, that was what I'm happy with. One hook popped, got everything else back. All right, shall we try that again? All right, I re-rigged snell of hooks sent another herring out and now i'm just going to sit back and chill out hope i don't get blown away it is bloody windy so yeah fishing is very quiet but it's nice to sit back and relax and you never know we might have something good come through like a kingy or a sambo and eat it but um seeing as i can't get a live herring i don't know what my chances are like so 
Rod started dancing again. It'd be nice to catch a fish this time. Fish please, not a stingray. Big harlequin, huge harlequin. Come on, it's not as big. What's this one gonna be? What is it? Wobby? <laughs> At least I'm catching stuff. What do we got? What are we going, eh? Yeah. Ah! Oh, little banjo shark. That's kind of cool. There we go. This is a banjo shark. Banjo ray, whatever you call it. Play it like a banjo. Way around, actually. ding a -ling ding up here. Awkward. I'm holding it wrong way. Here we go. I won't do it. Poor guy. We'll let him go. Um, but yeah, cool to catch something at least. Yeah. He's happy as. Oh, go wrong way, mate. Go that way. He'll figure it out. Give him a sec. All right. I think it's time we pulled this in. I've been sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting. It doesn't feel like there's anything there. Maybe a bit of weed. All right, I'm just gonna pack everything up behind me now. Trek back to camp, which is just down the coast a little bit. Probably fill it up that brake sea cod, get it ready. And I'll see you guys when I'm cooking up dinner. So pretty uneventful day as far as fishing. Well, two big hookups, but not really what I wanted, but they add a little bit of excitement into the day at least. So. Yeah, we'll see you guys back at camp. So we've got the brake sea cod here. Wasn't a big fish, but plenty of meat on it for me. And we'll fire up the little gas stove. Salt and pepper. Couldn't quite get it all in, so I just chucked in three pieces. I'll cook the other one soon. And I've got some coconut rice, so I'm gonna cook it. I was gonna get normal rice, and then I saw coconut rice, so I was like, I'm gonna give that a go. Probably go really well with my curries, actually, next time I bring a curry out. I'm gonna take it out into here. Chuck this in. Ninety seconds in a fry pan, so I'm not gonna start the timer but we'll start cooking it and when I think it's done it I'll take it off. I'm almost out of gas, so. Right, I'm going in here. Quickly, while I have gas, I'm going to quickly try. Where's my oil going? Quick. Still going. It's going in. It's cook. Cook, cook, cook. I don't think it's going to cook. Maybe I'll cook it in lemon juice. That's alright, I'm happy with that. That's good. I want some lemon juice on this. 
Oh, straight in the eyeball. Of course. Yep, that is completely out. I'm going to pour out that oil. Maybe I'll slice it up a bit thinner and I'm going to put some um, lemon juice with it. I've got a bit more lemon juice. Stoked with that. Simple and delicious. The fishing has been a bit disappointing on this trip, but the views are good. And I've, I've eaten well, I can't complain. I would like to go on a fishing trip soon where I actually catch lots of good fish. It's been a while. In case you were wondering if I did actually eat that last bit of brake sea curve. That's good. It's been cloudy all day, but it gives you these sunsets. All right, it's day three, morning of day three. And I think I'm just gonna pack up camp and head before the wind gets too bad. Wind's always mozzy, bloody mozzy though. Wind always gets really bad in the Arvo. Um, and I probably could leave still in the Arvo with the bad wind, because it's not super far to go, but I might as well bail now. One fish per day. <laughs> Doesn't really inspire me to hang around any longer. That will do. Came, I saw, I had a go. Beautiful spot, you know, loved it. But um, I think I've had enough, that'll do. Until next time. Let's go. Hopefully there's no leaks in the hole. Tilt you down a bit, little sucker. Let's get in that drink. 